Hello everybody, this is Cobalt Steel with another audio only review. Yes, the original video was so ugly looking that I decided to just make it another audio only review. So I got a lot of Strawberry Shortcake reviews out today, about 5 as of this video, and I decided to just take a break from it so I could work on the 6th one. That will be up tomorrow. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this audio only review. Hello everybody, and welcome to another Cobalt Steel Reviews! In the previous episode, we took a look at episode 4 of Strawberry Shortcake, Housewarming Surprise, which was a noticeable improvement from the previous three episodes. Today, we will take a look at episode 5, The Baby Without a Name. Will this be an improvement over the previous specials? We shall see. So, episode 5 of Strawberry Shortcake, commence! So, while watching Strawberry Shortcake, I noticed the absence of Plum Pudding, and I wondered what happened to him. Plum was my favorite, if you didn't know, and when I got to episode 5, I saw something strange about him. Strawberry and friends, while having a pool party, get news that Plum Pudding is returning. They also decide to go camping. Meanwhile, Pie Man is spooked up by something, and when he lets in his ally, Sour Grapes, in, he explains that it is a possible monster because of a footprint he saw somewhere. They end up searching for the monster off screen. One song later, the friends wait at the train station, and we get greeted to Plum Pudding, who is a girl? Behind the scenes, Plum Pudding was going through gender switch surgery while on a tour of a school he could go to, but that is unofficial. Anyway, they get reunited and we are greeted with Peach Blush from Magnolia Land and a baby who lacks a name. Meanwhile, while Plum is going home to pack for the camping trip, her pet owl Elderberry gets spooked at the sight of a giant footprint. This is where we hear Plum's according to her calculations nonsense. According to Plum, the creature to make that would have to be 10 feet tall and weigh 400 pounds. If that's the case, mm, Strawberry and friends are of normal people height, maybe she'll track 2 inches or something. Hmm. Anyway, Plum decides to return after packing to do some investigation, but we see that Grapes and Pie Man were spying on them. While Pie Man is still scared out of his mind, Grapes wants to make money off of this monster by making it a star attraction for something. Pie Man finds it a good idea and will begin exploring for it sometime later. Meanwhile, Strawberry and friends had a swell time at the camp, but the next day, the baby goes missing. Plum notes another footprint, as well as a series of other footprints. The friends decide to follow them, hoping that will lead to the baby and or monster. Meanwhile, we see that Pie Man and Grapes devise a trap made out of a cheese grater, and they're going nuts with their expectations and money. They even sing a song about it. However, during the process, Pie Man sets off his trap. Idiot. Later, we see the baby and the monster, which turns out to be a miniature dinosaur of pastel colors. It seems really shy and timid. Oh no, the monster is evil! Destroy it quickly and get out! Anyway, Pie Man and Grapes collide with the friends and they have a miniature argument. The baby comes out and introduces the monster to them. Plum also notes that the footprint was his two feet and tail imprinted on the ground. However, the monster gets trapped by Pie Man and Grapes and they also trap the friends. They take the monster to Porcupine Peak. Over there, they do some stuff to the monster, and while it seems to make it happy, it later makes it scared. Meanwhile, Strawberry and friends wish for more light from the sun as Plum finds a flower in their net. Flowers can grow to massive scales in this world. The sun grants their wish, and the flower grows big enough to push up the net. They get out and head to Porcupine Peak to rescue the monster. Meanwhile, Pie Man and Grace are driving when they spot large footprints on the road. Grapes gets the idea to abandon the micro monster for the even larger monster, as it could make them big bucks. Shortly after that, they encounter it and are frightened beyond belief. They fly away and it turns out that the monster was just strawberry and friends in disguise. They rescue the monster, the babies unite, and we end with a happy song about friends and pets. This story compares to a toy episode, it's much better written, few plot holes, not much filler, and it's a bit faster paced. This story in particular focused more on the secondary characters like Plum Pudding, Pie Man, and Graves, and Baby and Monster, with Strawberry playing more of a helping character. 
She was important, but not as important as before. The story was also more adventurous and had less depressing, or should I say, crying moments, and we get to meet and understand the characters much better than before. If there was one thing I hate, it's that the friends, let's just say a particular plot point with a baby, is never resolved in this episode. We have our usual cast again, but the supporting characters are barely recognizable from previous episodes. Huckleberry Pie also doesn't appear in this episode. Plum Pudding returns as a girl and also begins to resemble Velma from Scooby-Doo, with her hair cut like her and focus on intelligence, but she retain most of Boy Plum's traits like thinking ahead. Peach Blush is also a bit of a pessimist. She thinks the worst a lot and cries so much. I don't like characters like this. The baby, she's just the innocent friend maker character. She makes friends with everyone and everything and she's regarded as cute. Do I think so? In this world of cute stuff, eh. Compared to Toys episodes, the animation in this episode is much more fluid, though it's a lot more cartoonish. The animation actually resembles Care Bears, and this is because Mad TV with some Nirwana did the animation. You can see it in the character designs, color palettes, and even the style of the animals. I actually like it. The music is still top notch, however, I don't really like Grapes' voice. I just don't like it. Baby Without a Name was Mad TV's second episode in the Strawberry Shortcake series. This is Plum Pudding's third episode and first episode as a female character. During the production of episode 3, Kenner pulled all Plum merchandise because the boy toys were not selling well. This could also explain why Huckleberry never returned for the fifth episode. FYI, I did not find one doll of Plum Pudding, only a bunch of greeting cards. They wanted to salvage Plum for an actual toy, but to do that, they turned her into a girl. She was sold as a slumber party toy, which is her only doll as far as I know. She remained in this intelligent female state until the recent incarnation, where her personality was switched with Lion Chiffon and mixed with Rainbow Dash. Ugh, I hate that character. Plum, not Rainbow or Lion. No extra thoughts today. I give Strawberry Shortcake Episode 5 an 8 out of 10. Good reintroduction to a potentially lost character, and another great day for Strawberry Shortcake. Well, that is all for today. Next time, we'll take a look at episode 6, Meet the Berrykins. Until then, see you all later.